Prologue, The Revival Time has no boundaries or limits in space. The universe's clock ticks without a face. Without hands or markings wherever you look, time is unbound, unlike the pages in a book. The poet, once in the heat of summer, set out on a path to create something new. Now in the cold of a pending dark winter, he sets out once again, and to art will be true. Only in his past, writing on stone with a laser was known. Now it is common for lasers to write images that transfer to paper as light. Digital replaced analog so long ago, but it was something he did not know. Silently spinning at a high rate of speed, lasers make copies to meet the user's need. Reflected light forms letters in darkness, opening it up will make a mess. The dust settles upon the surface of this rotating world hidden inside. The author now has a new purpose to foretell of how two worlds collide. From mind to fingers pressing keys again, Light writes words on paper at lightning speed. This story tells the truth of how nobody will win in a world war fought for hatred and greed. This has been Prologue, The Revival. For part two of America is Lost. Follow the story, Raymond's Revenge. Thank you for listening. I am Michael. Michael.